Happy Tuesday! How you doing, huh? Hey, today I want to talk to you about five reasons God will provide for you supernaturally. And when God provides supernaturally, it's in abundance. Amen. That's the only way God knows how to do it, is in abundance, because that is the kind of God he is. Say this with me, the rest of my life is the best of my life. And the best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart and getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Amen. Talk like that. Tell everybody about these videos. Tell everybody you know the best preacher in the country. And he's got the certificate to prove it. Amen? That's how you prove it. Tell them I will send them a picture of the certificate. If you want a picture of the certificate, let me know. I will, I'll uh, text it to you. So you can make a picture out of that and put it up on your wall, huh? Hallelujah. Who wouldn't want that on their wall? How do I look? Do I look good? I got myself all dressed up this morning because my entourage is busy. They're busy. They should be busy doing stuff for me. But they're busy. They haven't even punched in yet. They haven't clocked in yet. They don't work if they're not clocked in. We have to get a time clock. I'm still looking for one. You know where they put the cards in? It goes, chunk like that. Remember the old time clocks? That's what I'm looking for. It's because they will not work off the clock. Go to my website, increasenow.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and then tell everybody, share everybody uh, with these videos. Tell everybody you know where the best preacher in the country is. There's a list of 13 criteria. If anybody wants to challenge that and they think their preacher is the best preacher in the country, we'll have the committee investigate. We did that once. And... Uh, Person turned out to be a great preacher and a great pastor, but not the best. Not quite the best. Amen. Hey, I've got an announcement for you today. Uh, some wonderful people have assembled a team to put together our audio books. So glory to God. This is all going to go down. And uh, I don't know what the, their uh, time frame is, but I don't think it'll be too long and we will have, the blessing is going to be the first book that's going to be an audio book and it will be available. Amen. They're going to, it's going to be on Amazon and all the big sites. So glory to God. We're, we're doing this first class people. We have got first high class, first class, very talented people working on this. So, you know, we don't do anything halfway. We do everything with excellence. We do it the right way. So this is going to be good. It's going to be done and edited and produced. And I mean, they got all kinds of people getting ready to work on this. So it's, uh, it's a whole project for us. I'm not even part of the team. And that's okay. Because these are people who know how to do this. And they're going to do a very professional job of it. So I'm excited about it. A lot of people have been asking for years uh, to make these books into audio books. And uh, the, the right opportunity, somebody approached me and they've got the resources and uh, they put together a team and everything is, is wonderful. Amen. We're going to do it through God Sounds. It's called God Sounds. Two words. Google it and go to their website. And they've got a lot of audio books in there. And they're going to be uh, them and their people and some other people that are going to be working with them are going to put this together. So I'm excited about it. Hey, I want to talk to you today about five reasons why God will provide for you supernaturally. Five reasons. How many of you know that, that there's, uh, there's a natural way to do things and a supernatural way to do things? <clears throat> They used to tell us at Rhema all the time, Pastor Hagen used to always say, when the natural and the supernatural come together, 
it makes an explosive force for God. And I always remembered that because the natural has to be done. And when the natural is done, the supernatural kicks in. There are natural things that we do. Five reasons why God will provide for us supernaturally. Number one, because if you're born again, you are a covenant person. God looks out for and provides for his covenant people. Now, you say that all covenant people uh, are not well provided for. Well, you're right. It's because some of them don't receive it. But you have to receive it based on the covenant. God always remembers his covenant with Abraham. It tells us that God remembered his covenant with Abraham when Isaac got himself into trouble, when he was surrounded by the Philistines and uh, living in a famine. God remembered his covenant. <clears throat> Everything God does is because of his covenant. The children of uh, Israel, when they were uh, working as slaves in Egypt, God remembered his covenant and brought them out. Everything is based on that. And I remind God every single night, I am a covenant person. Now you bless me and give me favor. Every night when I, before I go to sleep, I say, Lord, my name is Jim E. Kibler. Jimmy Kibler. That's what they used to call me. Some people still call me Jimmy. Jimmy Kibler. And I am a covenant person. We are covenant people because we're the Kiblers. The Kiblers are covenant people. Now you bless me and give me favor tonight while I sleep. And he does. Why? Because of the covenant. Number two, if you're a tither, God is obligated to bless the tithers. If you're a covenant person and a tither, let me tell you, folks, God is obligated to bless you. Glory to God. It says, bring all the tithes into my storehouse and test me. God said to test him. Every time you, you put your tithe <clears throat> in the plate or you put your tithe in the mail or you hit that button on PayPal, every time you do that, you say, Lord, this is a test. This is a test. Now you bless me. And he will. He will. It's, it's a test. Boy, the minute you get, if you're a tither, you have a right to talk to God about your finances. Say, Lord, I tithe. Number three, the curse is broken. If you're a partner with this ministry, there is no curse of the law operating in your life because I make sure of it. I keep those filthy, dirty, rotten, stinking curses out of your life. Because I do that. And I have the power in the name of Jesus to back me up. And it does that. Amen. Glory to God. Remember yesterday, uh, we published 15 curses. 15 uh, things that are affected by curses. And so I, I even made that available. If you want that list. Uh, let me know today, and I'll text that list to you. Fifteen. Fifteen th things that are caused by curses. Financial problems, sickness, all kinds of stuff. We break all those curses. Number four, because the blessing is spoken. That's the fourth reason. The blessing is spoken. When that blessing is spoken, God becomes obligated to bless you. He said, I, he told uh, Moses, he said, teach Aaron how to bless the children of Israel. And this is what they should say. Word for word. And I'm telling you people, I can't, I can't emphasize this enough. This blessing is supposed to be spoken word for word word. And God said, when you do that, I will put my name on them and I will bless them. When I speak that word for word blessing over you, let me tell you something, folks, whether you know it or not, whether you believe it or not, whether you receive it or not, 
whether you even care or not, that blessing falls upon you because of the power behind that blessing. What you loose on earth is loosed from heaven. And when I speak that blessing over you, I am loosing, loosening that blessing to fall upon you. And it does. It does. I'm telling you, we've had, we had people come to our church, didn't know nothing from nothing. I spoke that blessing over them. They went off and, and didn't see them for years. Came back and they went, wow, this this, some people came back and I spoke the blessing over the church at the end of the service. The lady said, stood up and said, I know who you are. She said, we came to your house years ago for a fellowship and you spoke that blessing over us. Our finances have gone through the roof. She's jumping up and down in the back of the church the whole time during the church service. She didn't even remember who I was. If you can believe that. But she didn't until I spoke the blessing. And I said, this causes you to increase. And she stood up and said, now I know who you are. Glory to God. Haven't seen her since. But I know one thing, she's blessed. If I cross paths with somebody one time and get the blessing of God to come upon them, I'm okay with that. Amen. Because it is my purpose in life to break the curse and get the blessing into the lives of God's people. I want God's people to be blessed because a blessed group of people is a powerful force in the kingdom of God. A powerful force. A force for good. A force that does good things. A force that influences other people to come into the kingdom. It is the goodness of God that draws people into the kingdom. And when people see how blessed you are, let me tell you something, folks. That is a good thing. Amen. Number five, because you make God your provider. You are blessed when God is your source. But my God shall supply all your need when you depend on God he is involved in your finances. When you depend on God, he's involved in your health. I want God. You know, when Mary and I, years ago, we struggled. Our finances struggled. We were broke all the time. It was horrible. We lived day to day, week to week, month to month. Believe in God right down to the last day for the money to pay our bills. And we never said one word to anybody about it. And the reason is because I didn't want anybody to feel obligated to take care of me. I wanted God to take care of me. Because the minute you tell somebody you're broke, you are making them your source. We had somebody in our church who wouldn't stop doing that. He kept going around to people and telling everybody, you know, oh, you know, I, I need this and I need that. And, and people helped him out. And he died broke died broke. Last I saw him, he was in a wheelchair all scrunched up and broke because he made other people his source. You make God your source and he will be your provider. Five reasons why God will bless you supernaturally. And you know, supernatural provision, that is the coin in the fish's mouth. That is the nets full of fish. That is the cup running over. That is supernatural provision. I am out of time. Go to my website, increasenow.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Tell everybody you know about these videos. Tell everybody I know the best preacher in the country. And that is Pastor Jim. Amen. And they can also call me. That's one of the criteria. You have to, if you want to be the best preacher in the country, you got to be available. I am available. I will break the curse and speak the blessing. And when you do your offerings and donations today, make sure you call me because I want to speak the blessing over you.